First off, uh, let me uh, note that uh, since I last came here, there's been a change in my staff. Uh, David Rudo, as you know, uh, used to represent uh, this area. I uh, have an individual staff in this as well as the director. Uh, since I've been here, first of all, I don't know if this is one of the past years, but uh, we never want to take the David. And uh, we, we, you know, we want to move mm. up uh, someone else in our office. A lot more handsome. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, you know, I, I had a number of different events today, and it's kind of really pushing the uh, schedule a little bit. But uh, Dan Lieberman said, "There's no way that you are going to miss this uh, particular event, and more importantly, you better give the dual time." Whatever issues and questions that they have. And that's Dan Lieberman. He's my new friend. Bravo. With that said, I was asked to talk uh, a little bit about some of the ballot measures. Uh, let me talk uh, about uh, uh, clearly the education one. Uh, then I think there's some labor folks in here who will talk about the paycheck protection. Um, and, uh, and then whatever else you may have uh, as questions. Let me say that uh, in the last um, six years, nearly $10 billion, $10 billion of public education dollars have been lost for education. Uh, we cannot uh, get that uh, money back. It's gone. We need to now figure out how we get some of it back and slow. Uh, unfortunately, what uh, has happened is that there's been this ongoing uh, effort to try and limit government, and as a result, we have not been able to raise taxes, uh, raise revenue uh, with a simple majority. Uh, in both houses, it's controlled uh, by only the Democrats on a simple majority and not a two-thirds vote. So given that, the challenges for all of us is to then, you know, how do we figure out ways in which we can still increase revenue Governor, last time, uh, last year, when he was dealing with the budget, was hopeful that he would, in fact, be able to get uh, a couple of Republicans uh, to step forward and cast the votes uh, for some revenue increases. Uh, he waited and waited, negotiated and negotiated, and couldn't close the deal. And so this year, what he has decided to do is to uh, put out a ballot measure that talks about temporary taxes, tax increases, 